Right, so we're here underneath Mordus's house. And there's a side of me that's. Yeah. <laughs> Dig it as much. Alright, and it's nothing but an empty room with a hatch leading somewhere. Alright. Oh, the... oh dear. Oh dear. Right. See, considering the uh, layout of the room, there's something, don't ask me what, telling me that um, th this is a puzzle that needs solving. But, let's, you know, just in case, look around a bit and see what we can find. Oh, and I did go off and sell all the, um... Oh, you know, all the things that we didn't need, basically. I can't pick this lot, can I? Yeah. Well, what little we could see through the keyhole is, uh... Not really promising. <laughs> but okay. So, I imagine some combination of this here will lead to me um, eventually opening up the door. However, however, oh, oh, no, 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 no. what, my, my backpack's order changed, didn't it? Good. All right. So, here somewhere, uh, no, didn't we have a clue, didn't we have a clue regarding some of these things, maybe not, oh see here's the thing, I also have all these large poison bottles, 200 and something is not great. Let's just really quickly. Um. Yeah, one please. And then the other. There you go. Because this is now actually worth taking if I'm really low on health in combat. We'll just drink that. And, uh, yeah. Yup, 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 yup. Okay, um... So... I'm going to find a helmet closer, and that's about it, I think. But we have bigger fish to fry. Let's say I... Huh? Do I need to do this in such a way so that all of them are lit up?
Because, I mean, that's one idea that I have. Right, so now all of them are lit up with the. Uh... Yeah, obviously, this isn't going to work like that. Um. Okay, so let's say now Losa steps on one of these. What's that, what's going to happen? Oh, they turn to fire. Well, tell you what. How about? Right, so this is obviously the water symbol. Maybe, just for the benefit, maybe. Ah! Ha 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 There we go. Alright, that actually helps quite a bit. And we can actually talk to the rat as well. Well, um... Was it Fane? Yeah, Fane can talk to the rat. The rat spirit shakes its head vigorously. Pretty colours. So nice. Until that ugly dwarf dropped an urn on my head. Oh, damn. Okay, so this is what we need. We need like three fire. And now the obvious question is how the hell do we get three fire there? At night. At night. I get the feeling it's gonna be like this. Wait, it's... no, it's it's the upper three that need to be fire. Yeah, upper three need to be fire. Then, water and water to the left. We have this sorted. We need to change these now, so... How do we go about doing that? What if Losa stands on one of the fire ones? Yeah, I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> this is, uh... This is gonna take a while. Right. And then I'm pretty sure we just put this here. And it's gonna unlock... Yeah, there you go. It's gonna uh, unlock this. So it turns out this is how you do it. That... Okay, honestly... I'm embarrassed how long that took. I'm a little bit embarrassed at how long that took, but okay. Uh Oh no. I don't care about the rotten eggs, I really don't. And I don't care about the mugs of blood. There's more buttons. Be wary. The urns will shatter. The bones will rise. The glowing corpse looks to you. The erratic rising and falling of its stern is accompanied by melodramatic gurgles. Come. Come to me. Alright. What do the buttons do? The creature murmurs a series of noises, vague but not quite unintelligible. Mimic the creature's whispers, perhaps you can develop a rapport with it. Its head leisurely lolls towards you in response. Freedom! A single touch of the second from left. My freedom and theirs. The creature is quiet once more. Okay. So one of these buttons... Let's pick these locks first. One of these buttons is gonna free him. The other buttons, though, I have no idea what they do. So you'll forgive me if I'm uh, curious to try what the others do first. There's, I'm assuming, is the ones over here, and that's gonna be a whole thing. 
that we're going to have to deal with. And I will. I'm, I'm, I'm down for some fighting. That's okay. But... And did I just assume that they're going to be hostile towards me? Absolutely. But absolutely, yes. Uh, actually, someone might want these trousers. Do you want trousers? No, it's the first world. You... Absolutely. Ooh, actually... You have terrible trousers. Huh. Worth noting. And then... See, this isn't bad. I mean, steel armor's a lot better. Yeah, I mean, carapace is great, but... It's not steel armor great. Steel armor's just way better. Okay, that was uh, useful. Now, acid stained key. I'll take one of those, thank you very much. Uh, Well, you can't say I wasn't warned, exactly, can you? One, two, three, four, five. Not the greatest thing ever. But all things considered... Could be worse. You know, what, I think it'll be a grand thing to do. Delay my turn. I didn't realise it goes all the way to the end. Um, but it does. <laughs> Alright, I do have some new abilities with Losa though. I do, so I'm a little bit anxious to try them out. So let's start by encouraging absolutely everyone, because that can save lives, as we all well know. Um, and now, let's figure out who to kill and how best achieve the aforementioned killing. So we do have this laser ray, which I think is a brilliant, brilliant weapon. And I also have these spikes of impaling pain. So let's do spikes of impaling pain. Yeah, that ought to to show you, and then I think, well we can do fireball for two, we can do, let's do adrenaline, because that's useful, and then next turn you're going to teleport either this guy or one of them closer to us, but for now, let's use this. Yeah, it's 266. Alternatively, we can use... Nah, that's nah, not worth it. So let's just make sure we don't hit the uh, table and... <laughs> glorious. Glorious indeed. And just finish him off with... That. Alright, so that's one of them dead. If any of you ever doubted Losa... And her... Capabilities... I urge you to reconsider. Right, so Fane. Um, out of range for that, out of range for that. In which case, I also have a poison dart for Fane, which is kind of awesome. Uh, in which case, however, yes, I will raise the Bone Widow right next to you because you have no physical armor, and the Bone Widow is going to do a number on you. So. With that said, I think what we should do is also try and hit you. And a shot blocked, but uh, I suppose that doesn't matter all too much. This is going to take 3 AP, so it's not wonderful. 
Ooh, I could turn you into a chicken. Once this ah is by physical armor, never mind. Well, I could try and knock you down. You know what'd be grand if I could charge him, but I can't. How much does this do? 62 to 67 plus. Yeah, that's not enough. Alright, just get in range and hit him very, very hard. He is chilled. And flanked and shocked. Okay. Okay, you know what? I reckon that's enough. So now what are you going to do? Hopefully you're going to start hitting the boat with oh. Haste on yourself, alright. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go very far, did it? Uh, oops. We're a little bit vulnerable to AoE, yeah. It's just, 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 a, just a bit. A tiny little bit. So the question is, now what? Because if I were to move away, he's going to get an attack of opportunity, and that's not very good. Try and backstab. Burning failed. There, yeah, I know. It's not ideal. And just stabbing from the front is stupid. So I get, I get to do all that again, due to the way I've... I've separated these turns, so I suppose that's fair enough, right? Now, I'm thinking... Move to zero. Throwing knives up to him. Adrenaline and then throwing knives? No, you know what? Better what? Better what? Better yet. Get up to him. And then he can decide whatever he wants to do. Armor of Frost. Yeah, that's not going to help against <laughs> against what I have planned for you. Yep, there we go. Alright. Electric Discharge. Are you mental? Uh, no, I get what you're trying to do. Well, what you're doing, but... You're also being a bit silly. So let's see now. I could use Time Warp. It's really no need though. There's really no need. Oh god, that's creepy. <laughs> Honestly, that is creepy as all hell. Alright. Move up to you, and stabity stab. Also do adrenaline. Now let's figure out, do I want to rupture tendons, or do I want to just... straight up try and kill you? I think I want to rupture tendons. Yeah, that critted alright. Alright, we just got you there. Glorious. Um, you're going to be slowed for a while, mate. Yep. I don't know where you're trying to get to, but it's going to take a while. Okay, so now you're all oiled up. Actually, no, you're not. Huh. Well, honestly, like, oiled up or not, That's gonna hurt. It's kind of. And then we'll just burn you. Sounds about right. Okay. That went pretty darn well. 
rest up and uh, loot up. A grenade. I get the feeling those could be very, very useful in some uh, slightly more troublesome and problematic fights. Not the smartest thing ever. Oh, that's a grenade. Ah, that's a horrible grenade, honestly, but hey. So let's try and open these up. Uh, yeah, base, could you open this jar of pickles for me? Rune of Power Framework. And hair, alright. So here's the thing. Are more of them gonna come out? <laughs> Tell you what though, there is a, a particular item that interests me right now. And that is this ooze battle. And now I know I'm encumbered, don't worry about it. However, what I also know is I can use the ooze barrel. There we go. Just the ooze barrel now. Use the ooze barrel and the empty poison or the empty potion bottles to create a silly, silly amount of small poison bottles. Matter of fact, a really really silly amount. And then we'll just put this back. Also, I am well aware that I can combine weapons like these that don't have a thing to them already. Like, uh... Pretty sure one of Beast's weapons? No, they all have some type of effect. But I'm pretty sure I can combine one of these, like, type of weapons with a ooze barrel to give it a poison effect. Does it work with a water weapon? I'm a little bit curious to find out, because for him I would actually do that. Wouldn't be the worst idea, and we'll get back up here. Alright, so where's the, the barrel? Barrel, and then... Weapon... I'm going to have to do it again because it doesn't remember. Uh, do, 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 where is it? Am I being blind again? Probably. And the axe. And if we combine them, nothing. Alright, it's probably because it already has a effect to it, if that makes sense. But yeah, basically that is kind of sort of a thing. And it is very cool indeed. But we can do that with uh, with things that that don't or weapons that don't have a sort of elemental effect to them. And I'm, I know I can do that. It's just that it's kind of uh, it's kind of risky to do that as well because what if you end up fighting undead and all your weapons are poison based, right? Because then you're in you're in a heap of trouble basically. Let's split these up into seven and eight, and then we'll just combine like this. I wish I can combine them all at once, but hey. And we have two medium ones like this, and we can split these into. Freeze and craft. Nice. 
so as well. And then we have four large poison bottles. Which we can combine into huge vials of poison. Now, obviously, Fane uh, needs one or two, and I'm going to keep the other one. He's going to have the regular healing ones, and Losar has a few healing potions as well. Right, Beast also has a backpack, which is uh, not immediately useful, but could be in the future. Alright. That's enough. Um, let's talk to him again. Maybe he has something. You see an undead figure. <sighs> My brother in undeath! Release me! Okay, what are the buttons for again? I forgot. Light, freedom, danger. Releasing me releases them. Who's them? Creatures like us, yet not. Still smelling of decay. Would it release the ones that I just killed? Because I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. And I'm not sure what, what, what sort of view you had from, from the entire, you know... Because oh, you were enti entirely strapped down and everything, but... Uh, yeah, it, I killed them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, another one dead. The word Lich enters your mind. The creature's eyes roll in your direction. Its gasps grow more urgent. Shed your shadows and own... Your selfhood, beast, your lips may not lie. Beyond divinity lies the word of your true self, utter it, foul demon. Allow me! You move to speak another chant, but the words elude you, snatched from your memories before you can utter them. The figure's wheezing lessens as its eyes lock on yours. The skeleton ekes out a cr- The panel! Seven bless you. Okay. The second one from the left, is that what he said? Freedom! About time, too! I, I can't tell you how long Mordas has been draining me. I'm absolutely famished. For sauce and sinew. There's some sauce behind you. The creature harumphs. You freed a master of the magical arts. For that, I'll leave your bones intact. For demolishing Mordas's minions, I'll give you a skill book of your choice. Choose your subject. Time to wait a moment. You deserve an explanation for all of this. Uh. Before the explanation, can you teach me source skills? I offer you life and learning, and you're still begging for more? You're wasting my time. Here, just take a book. It's speaking of which, allow me to share some wisdom of my own. Okay. The undead creature bears two rows of broken, cratered teeth. Stay out of my way. And curse your blasted machine. Do we just unleash an undead lich into the world? The creature begged for release, but can it be trusted? I saw some hungry undead set free from his bonds. What could go wrong? Gods be damned. Now it's gonna leave a mess, and I'm gonna have to clean it up. It does it. Oh, I, I know about this. It's because I'm playing on the other computer, not that light. Perhaps it would be wise to follow it. People can do terrible things when freed, even accidentally. We're pretty formidable these days. Might as well hunt that thing down before it causes too much trouble. Yeah, you're right. You're right, actually, I'm, I'm glad that you recognize the, uh, the fact, honestly. 
See, now I'm wondering what the other buttons do. But it's not like we can find out, is it? Well, I'm assuming, like, they drain him or whatever. Huh. Well, that's it then, I suppose. I mean... I'm on the one. Don't mind the dead, uh, the dead magister. We've we've had a bit of an incident with me trying to walk through the door. Nobody saw anything. Uh, um. Let's go talk to to Loha now, because uh, I'm pretty sure. There's quite a few things for us to discuss. Namely, dude, what the hell? Oh, wasn't there also, uh... Wasn't there also a lady of sorts here? Was it you? I know you. You're the one standing in my smoke. No, no, no. There was a lady somewhere around here, I'm sure of it. Alright, well, we'll find the lady later. Let's have Beast talk to Loha. Better get out there before Mortis makes it all the way past Arx. Report that you met Mortis and bested him. Show his amulet as proof. Yes, we have. Loha takes the amulet and turns it over in his hand. He pockets it matter-of-factly. Are you saying he pocketed it? Pocketed it. He pocketed. No, I, I can't say that. It's the one word in English I can't say. What did you okay. find in the cave? Uh, tell them what you saw. Yeah, let's just tell them what we saw. Send his people whatever remains of them to have a look for themselves who want a full report. Let's just tell them what we saw. Dead. More dead. Yep. And more just with them. Yep. I owe ya. Whole realm owes you, really. But I'll do my best to settle that debt myself. Ooh. Take this key. Nicked it from the Whites. It opens a chest in the Magister Barracks, second floor. Be careful getting at it. If they spot you, it'll be lights out. Should be some good stuff in there, though. Real good. Nice. Uh, Magister Barracks, second floor. Note that down really quickly for a second. Right, there we go. <clears throat> By the way... Found evidence of death fog in the cave. Is that what the queen is up to? I guess there's no hide in it now. Yeah, not really, mate. It's like this. I didn't sign up to move death fog. Other weapons, even soul forged weapons, sure. But death fog? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, I figured as much. When we found the bomb on a magister's ship, I was told to ship it to Arx along with the rest of the stuff. But I couldn't. Fair enough. I didn't want my people to have it any more than theirs. Nothing good can come of Death Fog. Nothing. It's all in the name, but yeah. Mordas disagreed, obviously. But thanks to you, he's dead. Thing is, Mordas was possessed. So Mordas didn't do much of disagreeing, and as a matter of fact, Mordas didn't do much of anything. I'll go destroy the Death Fog bomb myself. Make sure no one can get their hands on it. Ever. Yeah, it's not in the cave, though. What do you mean? Do you mean... My God, were we too late? I figure, yeah. You need to get to Arx as quickly as possible. That's where she's planning to use it. What, on the entirety of Arx? What have we done? 
Roranga, he knew just it was a big death fog this whole time. No, let's not. Let's let's contain the anger, shall we? I'll go to Ox and deal with this bomb. I don't deserve your kindness. I should have told you before. I just. Oh, I know. I know. I understand. No, I've got no excuse. I'm gonna do what I can to stop the Queen. I suggest you try the same. Get to Ark's. End this before Justinia does. Yeah. There'll be a wedding in full swing by the time you arrive. A girl named Isla and some do nothing type. Her father's well placed though. If anyone knows where to find the Queen, it's him. Mikhail Ross is his name. Tell him I sent you. So the Queen's gonna be there herself. Ox, wedding, Mikhail Ross. Got that? Off with you then. Time ain't on our side. Yeah. Ooh wee, alright. Um Yeah, this is Velosa. Pretty sure, yeah. Alright. So beast. Oh, in way over his head. Death fog's nothing to mess with. Yeah. All that matters now is getting to Arcs and stopping that bomb. Lives are at stake. Figured that's how you'd see it, honestly. Okay. Yep, we've got it. We've got it then. Uh, by the way, Losa got a new hat for you. Actually, Beast does. There you go. Oh, looks kind of cute. Okay. Ooh, this is good as well. Uh, instead of this. Yep, there you go. Also have a, a key. Just a key. No idea what it does. Oh, yes we do. It's the key for the... for the. Just, <laughs> it's that key, sorry. Um, mace, two-handed. Yeah, we don't use those, so we'll sell that. Don't have an archer, so we're going to sell that. This, uh, oh, I'm going to take the gold, but this. Go ahead and remove this backpack. Yep. Right there. I'm going to take the talon as well. I'm going to put it in there. Oh, and, and we did get rid of the amulet. Well, we have to. We did have to give away the amulet then. Okay, but it is what it is. Okay, and I can't. I still can't open this and, and take a look at what you're doing over here now. Now, Marla, are you still? Yeah, you're still insane. All right. Was it you? Toyota the decadent one. A delightful sight. Have you returned to express your worth? Most of the rescue of Mari, the trap woman outside of Driftwood, sure. Indeed. This is acceptable. You demonstrate more courage than anyone bearing the title of Magister, in any case. Now, tell me. Are you ready for me to grant you your greatest desire? Till your head is she coming on to you. <laughs> oh, make no mistake. Your body would be to my taste. But I am interested in probing deeper. I'm not quite sure I follow. You have a need to expose it. Look into my ring, and tell me what you see there. Okay. Gaze into the gem, my lovely. Alright. She flashes her wing at you, and you stare at the luminescent stone at its centre. You are floating on a current of pure source, surrounded by a kaleidoscope of colours and fuzzy images. Interesting. On the horizon looms a dark silhouette. 
As you approach, a beam of light washes the shadow away, revealing to you... Ooh. A stately dragon, it spreads its wings and roars such power. A blue butterfly crawling from its crystals, a second chance at life. A golden chest covered with runes and overflowing with emeralds. A quill made from a swan feather, a tool for those pursuing knowledge or strength. So this is like strength, int, money, power. Let's go with the dragon. Mm, yes, I see you clearly now. Ah, oh, this is the most me thing I think. Yeah. Mm, it is power you seek to conjure maelstroms and command the light to drive away shadow. Um, sure. I will fulfill this desire. In return, I ask for one thing in return. Okay. A kiss. Pleasure of flesh don't have much appeal for you. Yeah, this is really, I mean, in case you haven't noticed this the entire thing, but yeah. Dorothy size, a fusion of a kitten's purr and a cockroach's clacking. Honey. I can see what you are, plain as day. And I oh. know what I can give you. This isn't about a little rough and tumble. It's about that longing in you. The one that nags. Just get yourself masked up. I'm not terribly keen on that toothy grin of yours. <sighs> Don't I know it. Been hearing that all my life, to be honest, hon. All right, sure, let's do it. Most delicious. Meet me around the corner and come alone. An audience is well, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly going to bring the party along. He's like, guys, guys, come take a look at this. That's that'd be daft. I mean, here's private enough, sort of. You know, we don't have to go with the, the, the skeletons and the cages. I mean, it's just not... You know. Not entirely necessary. Dorothea sees you and heaves a shuddering sigh. She bites into her lower lip with enough force that a drop of blood seeps out. Blood and something else. Something green. Ooh, poison. Tasty. Darling. I admit I wish we could share more carnal pleasures. Yet I think a kiss is the height of intimacy. Well, this, you know, tell me what's in a kiss, eh? But I'm afraid I can't bear to press my lips against such a bony caricature of a face. Get yourself masked up, and the carnality can continue. Oh! I think I know how to do that. I think. Bane. Bane. Listen. Listen. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm going to need to borrow that mask of yours. But only for a moment. Oh, well, there's, there's a problem with that as well in there. Uh, we're not exactly in. Okay, come here. I think no one will see here. Alright, yeah. Okay, shh. It's late. I'm gonna need your mask. Really quickly. Don't worry about it. I wanna turn into a human. Something has changed. You are you, but more. You are another, but. No, you look to your hands, your belly, your feet, your feet. Yes, 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 yes. I've, I've done this before, it's fine. Uh, um, excuse me, excuse me, M madame. Um, uh, 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 sorry. 
hello? Are, are you upset at me? But otherwise, her fate. I waited, yet you never appeared. I hope you have not changed your mind. I am most keen to. Can we try again? I will await. But you're not exactly patient, are you? I mean, I'm granted I'm not much better, but give me a, like at least five minutes of courtesy, eh? Jesus, all right. Where are we to do the smooching? Over here, right, yeah. Go on. Just waited, me, waited for me in like two seconds and went, all right. Most excellent. This is a visage I can get on board with. Let me feel your lips on mine. Uh huh. You draw closer and close your eyes, eager to feel her lips on yours. Yet her lips do not press against yours, and her hands do not caress your face. She is a woman no longer, but a were spider. <sighs> I had the feeling this was going to happen. Oh, sod it. Just go on with it. Yeah. Her fang painlessly sinks into your neck. You still hear her words, though they sound muffled, as if filtered through a glass wall. You desired power, and so it's yours. My venom seeps into every pore. We part ways now. I'll remember this moment. You're a spider. Did you? Did she just drink your essence? Oh yes, I know my way around your veiled form. I have seen your true self, and you have seen mine. There is nothing more to know. Hmm. She kisses her forefinger, then presses it against your forehead. Now go. Fair enough. Fair enough. Receive a new talent, Spider's Kiss. Um, what's it do? Spider's Kiss. Gives you minus two constitution and plus two wits. That's actually very good, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's kind of great, honestly. Yeah, I'm 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 okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. Now, Bane, on it that Bane. The mask, yeah, uh, there's there's a bit of there's a bit of spider spit on it, I think. But um Yeah. There you go. All right. Um, good. Well then. I reckon we can get out of here now. I can't offer you more. May the memory of our kiss. Cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you said power, and I expected, I don't know, actual power. The way you phrased it was a little bit more epic, I feel like, and uh, it's, it's like... Now, the way it was sold to me was a little bit more interesting. In reality, it's a little bit like meh, which I suppose is... True of all carnal pleasures in general. So that's fair enough, I guess. I mean, yeah, what else? 
what else is there to say? Before I forget, who the hell is Dashing June? Did I ever talk to you? Where is it? Sir, please, have you seen a small burlap pouch lying about? I can help you look. She looks up at you in surprise. Her great greenish gold eyes sparkle, and she rubs a palm over her smooth head, seemingly confused. You'd... You'd help me. Taking someone to back by a surprising... Okay. 